Each year, World Water Day provides a point at which we focus attention on freshwater issues and advocating for the sustainable management of water resources. This year's World Water Day focuses on the topic of water and climate change and will see the launch of the latest UN World Water Development Report providing information for policymakers in this area. One key message in this year's report will highlight the role of water as the climate connector that allows for greater collaboration and coordination across the majority of global targets for sustainable development in the form of the 2030 Agenda and its SDGs, for climate change through the Paris Agreement and for disaster risk reduction under the Sendai framework. As well as providing a connector across environmental policy and management responses, water is a great connector in science. The interdisciplinary nature of water challenges mean that we must bring together scientific minds from many different fields and geographies to enhance our understanding and find solutions. Since the 1970s, one key platform for collaboration in water science has been the UNESCO Intergovernmental Hydrological Programme, or IHP for short. The programme aims to stimulate and encourage hydrological science and to assist countries in their research and training activities related to water. The UK has played a key role in the IHP since its inception, collaborating on research projects and aiding education and capacity development initiatives around the globe. My own organisation, the UK Centre for Ecology and Hydrology, aims to support and coordinate these efforts. The University of Birmingham, through the UNESCO Chair in Water Science that was established in 2016, are at the forefront of UK contributions to the IHP. For example, efforts here in Birmingham to improve the use of new, cost-efficient sensing technologies and harness the knowledge of local people through citizen science approaches are helping to provide new data to understand water availability, especially in those parts of the world where traditional monitoring networks are sparse. Research into climatic drivers of hydrological variability is helping us to understand how water resources might change in future, a question which lies at the heart of this year's World Water Day. Many water research efforts underway here in Birmingham and elsewhere across the UK involve collaborations with scientists from around the globe. Such international collaborations are an important way of ensuring that the new knowledge that we develop meets the needs of water managers in parts of the world facing the most acute challenges, thus contributing to future water security. I hope you enjoy today's online World Water Day event and that it generates new ideas for how you might contribute to the global scientific efforts to combat water challenges. If you'd like to know more about the Intergovernmental Hydrological Programme or this year's World Water Development Report, you can find more information on the UNESCO website.